Welcome to Lovely English Stories. This story is written for intermediate English learners. Ready? Let's get started. B1, B2 English Story Summer on the Farm As the sun sets on another wonderful sunny summer day, Alice Potts wonders what will become of Fern Top Farm. She's worried about the future and how her family can keep the farm financially stable. Alice grew up on the farm. So did her dad and his dad and his dad. Fern Top has been in the family for generations. Alice can't imagine it being any other way. She's grown up being surrounded by rolling green hills filled with cows, sheep, pigs and horses grazing on the grass. Alice is used to waking up to the sounds of their chickens being fed and the cows mooing in the fields. She's always had the freedom to run and play with the animals. She loves living in the countryside. She could never imagine living in a busy city when she is so used to the peace of the farm and the tranquil sounds of nature. Alice was almost 18 and had some serious decisions to make. Was she going to move away to university or could she help renovate the farm and improve the family's prospects for the future? She had the summer to decide. Alice lived on the farm with her mum, dad, brother and sister. Her brother and sister were twins and still at school. They also had two dogs, three cats, two rabbits and countless other animals. They made the majority of their money from selling the animals or their produce at weekly farmers markets. This involved a lot of work. Years of work in fact. They had to breed the animals, feed them, look after them and make sure they were healthy. They also sold their own milk, butter and eggs. Alice was sure they could sell more, but they needed a plan. Aside from the farm, they ran a small equestrian business where Alice's mum taught people how to ride and look after horses. She only did this three days a week as she had so much other work to do on the farm. She did it for the love of it. Again, Alice felt they could do more with this part of their family business. Alice had agreed to work on the farm through the summer after she had finished her studies at college. During this time, she would decide whether she was going to take her university offer or not. She had gained a place on an animal biology degree. This seemed like the perfect course for her, as she had so much experience working with animals. She loved working on the farm and helping her parents look after the animals. Even though the days were long, she always felt a sense of achievement. Often, she would have to wake up at around 5.30 a.m. She'd have a big breakfast and then would be out on the farm feeding the animals, cleaning the stables, collecting eggs and milking the cows. She would then head back to the house between 5 and 6 p.m. for dinner with her family. Usually, she would end the day with a long, hot bath and some time spent watching a film or reading her favourite books. It was quite a wholesome lifestyle, but it suited her. She didn't spend all her time on the farm. 
She also went to visit friends who lived nearby and would get the train with them into their local town to go to the cinema and do some shopping. Alice was lucky that she had also passed her driving test. She didn't need to have too many lessons as her mum taught her to drive on the farm's many small roads. She was saving up to buy a car with the money her parents gave her for helping on the farm. Alice worked at least 50 hours a week on the farm. As she gained more confidence in her tasks, her parents showed her how to use the tractors and some of the other farm equipment. Her days became even more varied. Alice's favourite animals on the farm were the sheep and the horses. She loved lambing season and she was particularly good at riding horses. In her early teens, she even won quite a few show jumping competitions, but she hurt her back in an accident and stopped doing it. She didn't mind though, she still got to spend every day with her horses. One day, when she was cleaning out the stables, she thought about how she could make the farm more profitable for her family. They enjoyed so many delicious meals from the produce on the farm, but they didn't really share it with others. Sometimes they sold their dairy produce at the farmer's market, but she knew that if people were aware of what they had, they'd love to buy more. That night, after dinner and her bath, she opened her laptop and researched into other family-run farms across the country. She wanted to know how they diversified their income. She also looked on social media at the sort of things people were interested in with regards to farms and what they had to offer. The following week, after Alice had done more research, she decided to put together some spreadsheets and explain to her parents how they could change the way they worked. She'd even emailed and spoken to some other farmers in the UK about how they modernised their farms. It was incredibly inspiring for Alice. Perhaps she could help her parents make some positive changes in the way the farm worked. After all, you have to move with the times. Alice decided that she'd present her plans to her parents after their weekly family Sunday dinner. That way, her grandpa and grandma would also listen. She set up her laptop in the dining room as she had made a presentation to show them. She was a little nervous about what they were going to say, but she needn't have worried. They were pleased that she had used her initiative to look into new ways to generate money and work smarter. She had three main ideas that she presented to the family. They were 1. Open a farm shop 2. Expand the equestrian centre and use social media as a way to promote it 3. Open a small petting farm area where children can visit and learn about the animals. Alice's three ideas might sound pretty big, but they wouldn't require too much work. She explained to her family that for the shop, they could use one of their converted stables. It was in the perfect location at the entrance to the farm. 
plus, there was plenty of space for parking. The only thing they'd need would be fridges and places to store the produce they'd sell. She had also looked into getting a food hygiene certificate and all the insurances they'd need. Alice explained how they could sell milk, eggs, butter and various different meats. They could also make their own pies and sausage rolls and they could even put together hampers for special occasions like Christmas or birthdays. For the equestrian centre, it was simply a matter of advertising. Alice explained how she could set up social media channels to promote the school and their lessons. She could also deliver leaflets in the local area and let schools and local clubs know about the classes. She knew the demand was there, but people didn't know about them. When it came to the petting farm, this would take more work. Alice looked at this as a long-term goal, as they would need to set up fencing and walkways and decide which areas they wanted to open to the public. After her presentation, her family were in shock. They were so proud of Alice for thinking of ways to modernise the farm and open it up to the public. Now they had the task of putting these plans into place. They had to make sure they filled in all the right paperwork and got the proper insurances. For the rest of the summer on the farm, Alice became the centre manager. She was in charge of working with any tradespeople, dealing with the council and coordinating any building work that took place. By the time August rolled around, they were ready to open the farm shop. Alice was nervous. She'd spent the last couple of months enjoying her new role on the farm. She really wanted it to work out for everyone. On social media, she offered 10% off vouchers for anyone making their first purchase at the shop. She also managed to get an interview with the local radio station and newspaper. On the morning of the shop's opening, Alice greeted the new customers as the sun shone and the animals played in the surrounding fields. People travelled from miles around to try their produce and look around the farm. Not only did they make over £1,000 on their opening day, but they also got lots of interest in their horse riding lessons. Many people also said they'd like them to open a petting farm. Alice's determination throughout the summer had paid off. As they said goodbye to their last customer, she sat in her family's garden, opened a nice cool cider and took a deep breath. She had done it. As Alice laid in the sun, listening to the birds and stroking her pet dogs, she thought about her next steps. Did she really want to go to university or did she want to continue to grow the family business surrounded by all the people and animals that she loved so much? That night, after a lovely dinner with her family and friends, she knew the answer. Alice was not the sort of person to start something and not finish it. She wanted to continue to work on her ideas for the farm. 
She could always go to university later in life or do a part-time degree if she wanted to. As she settled down in bed that night, she had a huge sense of achievement and satisfaction. She knew she wanted to spend many more summers like this on Fern Top Farm. We hope you enjoyed this lovely English story. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.